All right, so let's go over now kind of how we compare the differences between these two commits, how we can kind of see, wait, but what are the changes between them? And we're going to use something that we've used before, just that git diff uh, command, very common, very powerful command. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look. We're on the master branch. I want to compare it with the car branch. So I'm going to use git diff. And then we're going to use another command that we used earlier with a git log in um, kind of going through commits. We're going to use this dot dot, which in git can, you know, it's pretty kind of, you can think of it in a very superficial level of kind of a bit in between. So we're going to say get the difference of master between car. And now that's going to show us here are the differences. Now remember, only chapter one is our difference. If we had many files that were different, it would spit out a huge thing of code. Uh, and you can look online for kind of more subcommands that will show you how to, you know, be specific of say, I only want to see these changes or only want to see that. So that's pretty helpful. Um, then, so it, all this is going to tell us is, okay, B, which is our plus plus, which is our whatever we had as B here, our car, has the additional two lines. Now this is a car story. So there's nothing, B added on something, but B did not take away anything. And we don't have any conflicts, which we're going to talk about later of merge conflicts. But that's just going to tell us, okay, here's, you know, kind of how we do that. So another thing we can do is we can do git branch dash dash merged. Now that's going to tell us later what kind of branches have been merged into master. And we're going to talk about merging next, but that's a command to kind of, you know, I want to squeeze in here because while we're saying, oh, what's the difference? Let's say we merge car into master. We're going to see car under here too. It's going to say, well, car was merged into master at this point. Most of you are thinking, I don't understand that at all. That's okay to not worry about it all. I did want to throw it in this video because it is technically around kind of the same of seeing the differences between branches or seeing which branches have been merged into this one. Um, another quick thing, just kind of while we're screwing around with kind of like the little stuff of branches, if you would like to rename a branch, you can just do git branch um, m, which is like kind of move. And then we'll just say, mm, we want to name boat to ship. And now if I look at my git branch, we'll see that boat has renamed ship. And this is kind of Unix, um, kind of kind of the code that you would work there. Of. We're going to move it from, we're going to move the boat folder or branch to the ship branch, which really just kind of means we're renaming it ship. Um, so those are just kind of some little commands uh, we'll deal with. Next, uh, let's, we'll, let's talk about deleting branches. Uh, if you wanted to delete a branch, Let's say, remember how we were talking about how we didn't really like that, that ship branch, that, that boat branch. We, we didn't really like that story. We abandoned it. Now, we could keep it there. It's perfectly fine to just keep that branch there and not ever touch it. It might take up a little bit of space. You know, but maybe we're like, no, we need to free up a repository. Maybe we got like 20 dead branches that we just don't touch anymore. We need to delete it. So let's just go ahead and delete it. We're going to do git branch. And then pretty simple, just do a dash D and then ship. And it's going to say the branch ship is not fully merged. If you are sure you want to delete it, run git branch capital D ship. So what that means is pretty much is you haven't brought that branch back. Whatever you've done on that branch has not come back to the master. So you're going to be losing data. We, we don't like, you know, it wasn't merged with master. And now we kind of have a copy of it. It's saying, yeah. Dude, if you do that, you're done. Like, we're not going to, you know, we're going to lose all the information. Well, for us, that's okay because we want to lose it because we're going to say, hey, we don't need that anymore. That, you know, we wrote some stupid thing and we don't like it. So now we're going to do git branch capital or git hyphen capital D ship. And now you'll see that that branch was deleted. So now if I do git branch, I'm only going to see the car and the master. Um, again, you're really only going to use this if you're feeling, okay, it's dead. If you merged a branch in the past, I wouldn't delete it um, because it's also nice if you can go into that branch and see individual commits because remember, commits on the master are just going to say merged. And I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, and I apologize. We're going to be getting into merging later, I'm right after this video. But pretty much those are just kind of some basic branch terminology and commands that will help you navigate the branch tree better.